So in this exercise, we'll be learning how to create a layout template. By the end of this exercise, we will have done the following. We'll create a layout template using the NPM theme generator to define the number of rows and columns. We'll include a custom layout icon in the project, as well as deploy the layout to the platform. Here's the steps that we'll be taking in this exercise. First, we'll generate a layout template. We'll add the first row with a column. We'll then choose the second row and three columns. We'll add a third row with two columns, and then add a last row with one column. We'll then point to the app server, deploy the layout template, and verify layout deployment. So after this exercise, there's a couple of bonus exercises that I won't be going through that you can try for yourself. And this is going to the new hotel front page and adding some widgets to see the layout in action. You can also create a new custom layout for hotel room pages, and then add a layout to a theme and configure it to deploy. And with that, let's get into the exercise. So we're going to first start out by generating a layout template. So we're going to go to the Liferate folder from your command line or your terminal. So I'm going to go here, the Liferate folder. Now I'm in here. And then we're going to run the command yo Liferate theme layout. And what this is doing is this is generating a layout within a theme for us. When we're prompted for a name, we'll type in hotel front page. For the default ID, we'll go ahead and accept it and enter. And then for which version, the arrow is pointing to 7.3, so we can go ahead and select that. Now we're going to add the first row with one column. So for this question, we'll type in one and hit enter. And then this is asking us for the width, and this is 100%, so we'll go ahead and hit enter. Now we're going to choose add row to add another row. So hit enter. How many columns for row two? We're going to choose three. Now, how wide do we want row two, column one to be? So we'll actually choose the four over 12 option. So we'll go down three times. And then how wide for row two, column two? We'll also choose the same thing. So we're gonna go down three times. And then finally, this last one will hit enter because this will be the default width or one third on the third column. We'll then add in a third row with two columns. So we'll go ahead and select add row. When it asks us for how many columns, we'll type in two. And then for the first column, we're going to make this one third. So I go down three times. And then for the second row, we're going to use the remainder. So eight of 12, and hit enter. And then we're going to add one last row with one column. So we're going to add row. And then we're just going to type in one for the number of columns. And we're going to hit enter to accept the default width. And then finally, we're going to finish by finishing layout. And the image that we just generated should be what your layout looks like. So now we're going to point to the app server and we're going to hit enter when it asks us for the deployment strategy to select local app server. And then we're going to have to type in the path to your Tomcat server. So I'm going to have to get that. I'm going to copy this over here. Going to redo this, replacing the replacing the slashes. So with that, then we can go ahead and use the default for the host, localhost 8080. So after it finished generating the layout, we'll go ahead and navigate into the layout folder using CD. The hotel front page layout PL, and then this will be the folder that we just generated. We'll go ahead and deploy the layout template now. So we're going to open up our hotel front page layout within our file explorer, double click into this. And from our exercises folder, we're going to copy the hotel front page image. We'll navigate into doc root, and then we'll paste it in here, replacing the file that's currently in the destination. Now we'll go ahead to the terminal again. Then we'll run the command npm run deploy, and this will deploy our layout. Now we'll go ahead and verify layout deployment. So we'll go ahead into our browser, and we'll go ahead to localhost 8080. We'll sign in as Josiah Copeland, and then we'll have to go to site builder pages. 
here we're going to click the add button in the top right then we'll click a public page and then we'll click a widget page right here for the name we'll type hotel front page click add when we scroll to the bottom we'll see the hotel front page layout near the bottom of the page we'll select that and click save and this verifies that the layout has deployed properly.